From the 13th century book from Jacobus Lavoragine, The Golden Legend, we have The Ecstasy of Mary the Magdalene. This is a very interesting painting where we find the saint laying in the Garden of Eden, transported from the desert by two angels. We will find at the center a lion and a deer, the hunter and the prey, together in peace. There are some symbols in this uh, painting which is quite, quite protected beneath a veil. We have death, which is vanity, we have the Bible, we have a perfume, and we have a black rabbit. So the vanity of the perfume and the lust of the black rabbit will tell us the image and we will discover that we're talking about Mary the Magdalene. From the Golden Legend written by Jacobus La Voragine in the 13th century, uh, we know that Mary the Magdalene, after the death of Jesus, left for three decades to the desert in a cave. The legend tells us that every time that she prayed, two angels arrived from heaven and took her to paradise, where she heard celestial choirs and was fed with divine delicacies. This canvas represents the saint within the intimate space of her visionary experience. Mary the Magdalene appears fainted, lying in the floor on a mat. Two angels hold her and carry her to heaven. All the image we see through a fine tool that protects the saint in the Garden of Eden. Painted in the Baroque Cusco style from the 1720s, this work of art represents the triumphant style of the early 18th century Cusco's painters.